Hey guys, good morning. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Rinske Dauna and this is my art channel. A lot of you are asking how I'm doing. Well, I'm feeling great. 25 weeks today and yeah, I'm fit. I feel good. A lot of fun in painting. A lot of new works are coming up and they are totally different than you saw before. Combination, abstract, fluid art and more. I think you're gonna like that. But today is a very special episode of the Do's and Don't Challenge. I'm doing it with Mina Villegas. You probably know her. She makes those beautiful big acrylic poor paintings. Definitely check her out after this video because I challenged her too. And I think I gave her a challenge. But of course she challenged me as well. And let's list her do's and don'ts for me. So for the do's. Do a wandering straight pour. I've never even done a straight pour, Mina. So thank you for that. Gonna do that. Do use pouring medium in your mixture and do tilt. I'm always kind of scared of tilting because I'm so used of yeah, tweaking with the blow dryer. But yeah, let's tilt today. And then for the don'ts, don't use a white base. Don't use a small canvas. And do not use your blow dryer. Definitely skipping the blow dryer today. Also, Sarah Mack and Olga Sobi are doing the challenge today as well. If you have not seen their videos before me, go check them out. But let's get started with my own challenge. All right, so here we are. This is the canvas. It's a one by three foot, so 30 by 90 centimeters. And I already painted the black sides because I don't want to worry about that later. Um, yeah, I think that looks neat. I have colors here and normally I don't use this color combination at all or this mix. I mix them all with a pouring medium from Amsterdam and Floetrol. So I have a Prussian blue, a phthalo green, a green yellow, titanium white, uh, this is sort of, I don't know, I think I mixed this myself. It's a blue and a fluo pink. I don't know if I'm gonna use the fluo pink, but I thought maybe it's gonna be a nice accent. So, and then we have the base is oxide black. It's kind of thick, or kind of, it is very thick. I'm gonna go for it. So I will start here with the Prussian blue. Then phthalo green. Oh, that green is a little bit thinner than the rest. I don't know if you guys see that, but I definitely see that. So I was thinking just a little touch of this. Let's see if that will pop up, eh? All right, I'm, I'm satisfied with my cup. I'm gonna put that away and first layer the base with the black. By the way, it's been a very long while that I've done a acrylic pour even. I've been so much into abstract works, but I also created some gorgeous, huge abstract works in combination with brush painting and fluid art. And also these colors that you see here, with the base here first. <gasps> Look how thick that is. I don't think I will have enough. And of course, I do want to keep a negative space. I don't want to cover the full canvas, but yeah, we'll never know how it goes, right? Thank you. 
So I've layered a very thin black base here. Uh, I will start with the wandering straight spore first and then maybe add some more base color against it. So this cup is looking fun. Uh, yeah. Straight spore? I don't know where to begin. I think this is my best. See this, this is a straight pour, yeah, it is a straight pour. Not a lot of colors are coming, why? Oh, there they are. We don't see pink. Shall I just finish this cup? I go super fast. <laughs> okay. Well, that looks kind of, what oh, a cup. I love the cup. Okay, so the design is not really holding up, I must say. Uh, that's too bad, but let's tilt this just a little bit. You know, we're not lost. And also, I think, yeah, the paint was too thin. Yeah. The paint was definitely too thin. Okay, so I'll pour some more black. I'm always scared to tilt. Probably you guys are now in the chat. Tilt, tilt. Yeah, I know. I know I need to tilt. But I'm not a tilter. <laughs> I'm so scared for tilting. Why? Yeah, oh, that's paint it's so thin well it is not thin but the green yellow is moving way faster than all the other colors you know i i do like the composition if if i would look from this side um but it's the the lines are very hard and i love that that's a bit softer so i will swipe some of the black in that my god those shells all right that was a great 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 idea okay swiping yeah, i like the swiping let's do that here too Well, Mina, I'm sorry, but we're losing the straight pour design here, but I'm really trying to make something different then, I guess. Let's play around. Yeah. Oh, this is now so cool because it's so soft on the edges with all those cells. And then we have this gorgeous middle straight wandering poor design yes yeah i like that i would like that this goes really over the side leave it or tilt let me know <laughs> shall we leave it or tilt oh Every time with these do's and don't challenge, I'm so, so happy to try new things. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna 
just slowly tilt it a little bit tilt it back a bit yeah all right i feel like we need just a little bit more this side play time um let's go like this oh i thought i would get a lot more cells like i did with the black uh, i didn't here so maybe if i hmm Okay, not really, but still, it creates a little bit of a better design, in my opinion, then. Let's pull it. I really, really like this. Okay, guys, I'm going to bring you up for a close-up, and let's see what you think about this. All right, so it's always tough to give a close-up when the background is black. It gives so much reflection, but I do think you can see it super because the colors do stand out and man, so many cells. I do think I have a hit here with the Oxide Black by Amsterdam, Amsterdam pouring medium, flow through and some water. This is creating so gorgeous details. Thank you all for watching. I love the end result, but I would love to do the do's and don't challenge with another artist next time. Johnny from JMO Painting, I'm challenging you. I'm gonna send you the do's and don'ts next week and I can't wait what you will give me. Guys, thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for the next couple of videos because they're gonna be awesome. Also check out Mina's video of course now. Bye!